Hello everyone and welcome to the Wolf's Side channel! Today with a very special topic, I mean <coughs> always special. Can you solo play in Immortal Online 2? And uh, this is a very good question. The short answer is yes, you can. The long answer comes now. Should you? Probably not. Let's start with the benefits of playing solo. You can basically do whatever you like. There are no guild guidelines, there are no rules that are restricting you besides the Star Vault policy for the in-game environment. But beside that, you can do whatever you want in the game without someone else telling you what you can do and what you can't do, but more to that later. And another huge benefit of playing solo is also that you can quickly do things. You don't need a group and waiting for all to come there to do something or make a dungeon and stuff. You, you have to wait all the time for your teammates and stuff. Where you're in, when you're playing solo, you don't have this, obviously. You also don't have to share and you don't have responsibilities. So you don't have to share your loot and stuff. And you can also build what you want or what you can afford. And finally, you can do whatever you want but with these benefits there are also some problems so the negative stuff is also very overwhelming everyone nearly everyone will try to kill you everywhere and will zerk you of course so when you constructed some stuff nearby beneficial spawns then the owning guild will maybe seat you away and this directly leads to the biggest negative thing a solo player can have kept the obvious it's that the solo player doesn't have any help so you can't call for backup you can't call the zerks and you can't call anything so yeah it also depends on how hard you want to solo play but for some it's also expensive because you needed two accounts for that at least because with two characters it works in some kind of form but if you really want to be totally self-sufficient even without a broker and stuff like that you really need two accounts and of course as a solo player this sounds a little bit harsh but no one cares means no one cares about your existence in the game the only thing that people see when they see you is a loot bag on two legs and this is the definition of true solo play i mean for a lot of introverts this is awesome for a lot of extroverts this sounds like horror and the last thing is Playing solo is very, very time consuming. The problem is that people often coming from other games and stuff and expecting that they can solo play here in any way or form. The thing is, it works. In Mortal Online 2, you can play solo, but you have a lot of restrictions. And a lot of content in Mortal Online is only for groups. The game is designed that way. That is why we have the territory control, because that is an MMORPG and we are fighting with hundreds of hundreds of people versus hundreds and hundreds of people. That is the main core essence of the game. And Star Wars also designed more or less this scenario, this system in mind that also players who like to play solo or are very introverted or maybe don't like social interactions can also play the game. The problem is for them of course it's much much harder for them to do stuff. If you are someone who is having a lot of time a day then solo playing can be a thing. Solo playing can also be a thing if you have a very limited short amount of time a day. For example, I also had some times where I only had one hour a day or nearly two hours a day. And sadly, Mortal is not meant to be played with one or two hours a day. It's not meant like that and we all know that. It's maybe something like you can, you can, sh you can shrink it down to one hour a day or something like for a year or something to craft stuff, to do stuff. But if you're someone who's liking active uh, content or actually killing stuff, then, then it's getting very difficult. So if you're only playing for one or two hours a day, solo play can be a thing for you but only very limited and in very small scale and you you will not be able to solo mino dungeon you will not be able to go into the riser dungeon without getting 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 bombarded and and zerked down to death to 99 percent of the time and this is exactly the thing where a lot of solo players who are starting out as solo playing in mortal online are quitting instantly and never coming back to this game because they haven't understood that solo playing in mortal without a lot of ambitions only with the crafting stuff and maybe very very limited short activities with a short time span is possible playing mortal solo while farming while maintaining buildings for example while maintaining your own gear which you lose a lot of times when you're playing completely solo is possible you can totally do that in mortal online too the thing is it's a lot of time effort it's time consuming 
its effort and its frustration like hell. Of course, not all the time. Of course, sometimes you also feel very, very good. And you can clearly see that solo play can also work perfectly. When you are a good PvP player and you know what you're doing, for example, like Rias, I, I know him since 10 years. We met in Mortal Online. He's also a German and we were playing together since, since over 10 years. And of course, and of course, he was also always a part of the guild. But sometimes he was more or less playing solo because he really likes that and we as guild of course we allow that because when something really hardcore happens we know that Rias is there and will help maybe you should not call it solo play you should call it independence play so you just do what you want Rias also said that this playstyle is very hard and clearly not for everyone this is even a niche in this niche game this is also a very good example of how solo play can turn out for you in Mortal Online but this is one out of 1000 the other nine 999 quit it down the line I guess. But I have for you another example. So if you maybe know the guild Wolf's side, we are sitting in the north, in the middle of the north and we're having our territory. And we built our stuff there, we claimed this territory, this is now our territory and, and there was a guy always farming our troll. And we first was like, okay this is a solo player just farming the troll, okay but this is, this is now our troll. And the main thing of TC are resources. People will fight, people will fight over resources, people will fight over farming spots because obviously we were there with 40 to 50 people and when you have 40 to 50 people you don't discuss if that farming spot is now uh, owned by the solo player or by the guild there, there there's no discussion about this the good thing is that we are not assholes and that Erisun is also not an asshole and we just uh, made an agreement and when you're playing solo and you're having maybe a nice guild nearby maybe you can have a special agreement with them the thing is that is very very special and we at Wolfstar we don't do that anymore with anyone else I guess I need to ask the diplomats in our guild for that I'm personally not involved in to the guild politics but in general if you don't if you don't be an an ass when you're playing solo there this can open doors for you i mean i mean i mean we had long discussions about about all of this if if, if you accept a solo player here because you must see for guilds and for alliances that this is very difficult because because you have to talk with about 40 people about this one guy the interesting thing is it's now over a year old our contract with him and it's still working perfectly. And here and there he helped with some stuff. We also helped him with some stuff. It's, it's just awesome. It's just awesome. And this is the beauty of Mortal Online. This is the beauty of guilds, alliances, of social gameplay. It's so awesome. But of course, as a solo player, you have to be someone that is firstly making contracts that are not shitty for the people you are making contracts with. And if you don't be an asshole, you can survive in Mortal Online. Or you can fight as good as Rias. And you don't have to be nice. So yeah, I guess it comes down to personal preference. And for all the guilds out there who are having maybe solo players in their territory that are maybe annoying some of your guild mates and stuff, it's easy to just say, okay, okay, guild, let's steamroll over. Over the half of the guild is pissed about that guy, so let's roll over with catapults and get this shit done. This is this is in my opinion not maybe the best solution. I would I would first first maybe talk to that guy. Maybe you can find a solution where both parties can benefit from that. And then it's awesome. And if you don't find a solution, you can still steamroll over completely. And my own personal opinion about this is I played solo in Mortal Online 1 for a few months as well. I never played solo in Mortal Online 2, so I don't know how this exactly is compared and again your opinion can of course differ please leave it in the comments but for me personally i love it that this is possible that that, that a very low percentage of of the in-game server is actually doing solo play but i really don't recommend this to you in any way or form because i i had so much fun with the people I met over the years, true friends and best buddies and stuff. And we had some awesome Mortal Online stories. Had some very funny bugs in a spider cave or when we killed together something. It felt very awesome that we killed that that monstrosity together all together the whole guild killed that and stuff like that and this th these are the moments that you will miss so hard when you're playing solo the thing is if you never played as a as a guild as a group very well integrated mortal online then you can maybe play solo but for me personally i never could play solo anymore because i know how positive and how cool and how f good this game can be when you're playing with a with an awesome group 
together. So yeah, please leave your opinion in the comments would be really awesome by the way. And share this video with your friends and please also with new players who may be thinking or, or said to you, oh, I want to play solo in Mortal Online, please send this, this video, please. And the number of people that are quitting directly after Haven are 95%. So, so maybe, maybe we're getting this percentage to, I don't know, 90%. So yeah, please uh, share. Uh, so special thanks to all the supporters, of course. Carmel, Professor Opel, then Life, Locaro, Raphael, Ronus, Patanax, Cologne, Bullock, Giovanni, Vargas, William, Metro, Cyrus, Mip, Greta, you and all the others, of course. And never forget to make your party hard, uh, solo. Uh, not solo. I mean, not solo. <laughs> I mean, make party hard. See you all next time. Uh, goodbye.